Welcome back, TCC TV viewers. I am Jessica again here from Hey Jessica, and I am super excited to talk to you today about lead pages. Now, lead pages is something that confuses a lot of people because they don't exactly know what it is or why they need it. So I just wanted to take a little time to explain what it is and why you might or might not need it in your business. All right, so Lead Pages is basically a standalone website which has a monthly fee that allows you to create landing and sales pages for your business. They have drag and drop templates, they have um, standard templates, and they make it really easy for you to create pages for your business outside of your own website or if you don't have a website yet. So a lot of people use lead pages to set up a sign up page for webinars or set up a sales page for a course they're doing or maybe even a free product they're promoting. But lead pages has a ton of features and can be used for hashtag all the things in your business. Lead pages can be a huge asset to any business. I used it for a really long time for all of my sales and sign up pages. Now I currently use some different plugins on my WordPress site that allow me to build sales pages really easy already on the site. But lead pages is perfect for somebody who doesn't want to fool with that, who wants easy drag and drop templates, who's not using WordPress, or who doesn't have a website at all. So let's take a look at the back end of lead pages so I can show you some of the things that it does and how it might be able to help you in your business. Really super easy. You just go, once you log in, you just go to your lead pages dashboard and then you can just create a new page. This will bring you up templates and tell you you can use the drag and drop. You can do whatever you want to here. I'm going to easily just change a template um, to make it easy for this tutorial, but they're so easy. The drag and drop templates allow you to completely customize, whereas the general templates don't allow as much customization, but still allow quite a bit. So let's say we're just going to go with this yoga one here. I'm just going to click use template and let's just name our page test page. I'm going to put Jessica there. Okay, that's creating. All right, so all I have to do is go through here and customize what I want. Now, so you can go to widgets and look at all of that. You can do the layout and tell it which section you want to work with. So this hero section is the main section of the page and then there's a footer section so if I click on hero and then section style this is where I'll see um, the background image which is this lady so I'm just gonna change this to one that I've uploaded of a Photoshop cover photo of me even though it's not super flattering but you know whatever um, so that changed the background I can go back to these settings and change the header, um, you know, make some changes to the logo column. It is very, very, very customizable. So super, super easy. Once you're done with that, you can just hit publish. And when you hit publish, it will ask you for a URL and you can easily put in a URL there. Well, okay, so it won't ask you a URL. It will actually give you a URL based on what your lead pages URL is. But if you hit publish options, then um, you can, you know, publish on your WordPress site, which is that's where you can get a custom URL. So I could do ohheyjessica.com forward slash test page and it would go straight here. Um, I can publish as a Facebook tab or on another server. Um, so there's a few different things. I can also view my page. So there is that. And then it's got double here because I put that in the footer too. So you can easily customize. Another thing that you can do inside of lead pages is to make lead boxes, which are the pop-ups. So you would just go into lead boxes and create a lead box. Again, I am literally just going to use a very simple 
template. Okay, so that's actually perfect for me. I want to hit publish. You can obviously customize in any way you want to over here, but if you're going to publish it and maybe let's say you're writing a blog post and you want to use a lead box to pop up and have someone download something, you could easily change the text here to click to download and then hit this get code and it will give you the code you need to insert inside of your blog post to make that happen. You can also do a button so you can change the roundness of the button, the shadow, um, all of this to make sure the button looks the way you want it to. Once you have that ready, just hit get code. Now you'll just insert this in your blog post and you'll have a button there that will allow a pop-up that you've created in lead boxes. You can also create an image. So somewhere this might come in handy is on your um, blog. You can put you know, an image inside of your sidebar and when someone clicks it, an, a lead box pops up where they opt in to something. So you would just upload your image here, link it to this page, and then hit get code and put that in your widget. You can create a timed pop-up. So you would just tell it how long to wait before that happens and then you would put this in a blog post or a page or anywhere you want that to show up. Same thing with an exit intent pop-up. So if you see these pretty, which this one's not super pretty, but if you see those pretty pop-ups on websites, they are likely done with lead pages and can easily be, easily be integrated in any blog post or page. So I hope that helps you understand exactly what lead pages is and how it can help your business.